Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I will just sit here and just chat to you very casually. I thought that considering uh, everything that's going on in the world, we're all in the same um, thing together, uh, considering what's happening and everything. So I just thought, let's just sit down and talk a bit about it. Because um, here in Denmark, the situation, I guess, is pretty similar to everywhere in the world. And we're basically on lockdown, quarantine, um, I mean, we are allowed to go out, but everything is closed and the authorities strongly to strongly recommend to just stay indoors as much as possible. So that's what we've been doing. Uh, I went for a walk uh, just yesterday, but otherwise not much else other than going to the supermarket when necessary. So I guess it's, uh, <laughs> it uh, affects everyone, this thing, but we're in it all together. And that's why I'm just so happy to see that there's so many positive things also uh, happening around the world. Like people are out, people are there for each other and helping each other. And there are a lot of videos on, on BookTube and YouTube generally helping us out with ideas of how to cope with this. So even though for me, it's not a problem staying indoors, I like to be at home and I'm comfortable here. But I guess the idea of not being able to go outside is still affecting me. I'm working from home, so that's, so that's okay, uh, no problem there, but it's still weird to <laughs> to be able to just roll from my work to my couch after I'm done and just, yeah, you know, it's just a weird, weird situation. So I just feel it on myself as well that ever since this uh, virus started spreading, uh, I've been really, I've been really not in the mood to read either, for example. So I can really tell that I just, I just don't feel like it. So um, I've been watching series on Netflix and that was nice. Yesterday, for example, uh, we had the 1995 BBC Pride and Prejudice adaptation on TV and I watched the whole thing. <laughs> It was crazy because there's many hours, but it was so nice and comfortable. I love those series. That's my favorite adaptation of Jane Austen's uh, Pride and Prejudice. So that was nice to do. But overall, I feel that it is affecting me. There's just amazing how people get together and do their best uh, considering. I mean, people are having parties on the, on the balconies in Italy. And I've been seeing posts around uh, Instagram that uh, <laughs> pollution is uh, dissipating above China and uh, the canals of Venice have never been cleaner. And uh, there's, there's this Facebook group uh, made here in Denmark where people who go out for their walks, they decided to take a trash bag with them and just pick up trash. So, so I mean, it's nice that there is some positive in all of this. But I think the most important thing is just to stay inside and keep safe. And I hope you're doing it and I hope you're feeling uh, good and feeling safe and taking care of yourself. So uh, just before I started filming this, I saw this video from Simon uh, from Savage Reads and he's hosting this hibernation uh, weekend marathon type of thing. I think it's one of those where you read 24 hours out of 48. So I think I'm going to try to do that and um, maybe pick out some books for that. But then I also want to mention some of the books I'm currently reading. And then hopefully I'll be more <laughs> motivated to pick them up and just, uh, yeah, forget about what's happening and I guess just immerse myself in a book. I think I'm not going to set a really... Um, set my TBR for this weekend, but I'm going to just pick up what I'm in the mood for. And I'll have four books here that I'm going to talk to you about now that maybe I'll pick up also if I feel like it. But let me tell you about the books I have here. The first of it is uh, Elias, Elias Grace, I think that's how you pronounce it, by Margaret Atwood. I think I picked this up after I saw that there is a movie miniseries out on Netflix and I've been meaning to read it ever since. So I think maybe this is going to be the right time. Also because I really want to watch that miniseries and uh, I guess now we have more time for it. <laughs> but it's also, you know, hard to stay inside, especially because in Denmark it's just starting to feel like spring some days and it's really sunny shining after, you know, here the winter is always dark 
overclouded, not so much sun. And now when the sun is shining, without any clouds on the sky, you really feel like going outside. So it's really hard to stop, <laughs> stop yourself. But if I read this, then maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch that series. And this one is about Grace, who's been accused of murder. I don't know much else and I don't wanna know much else. I really like uh, Margaret Atwood. I have read uh, The Handmaid's Tale and I plan to read her other books as well, but I, th I think this is just the second one I'll pick up. And um, I'm pretty sure I like it because she she is really good. Uh, she's a really good writer. So this is the first one, and it's also a chunky one. I think it's like how many pages? Just uh, just over 500. So, and then. I have Remembered by Yvonne Battle Felton. This came out last year. And this is, um, this one is, oh, I just, I forgot to say that uh, this one is a historical fiction. I think it's obvious from the cover as well. But this one is also in a historical fiction. It's set in the 19, 1910 in Philadelphia. And it's about this mother and her son from a black community. And uh, the son is, accused of killing some people i think he was driving a one of those buses or something like that which he wasn't supposed to do as a black man and he crashed into a window with the bus and i guess some people were injured or killed i don't know but then he's also beaten to death and um, taken to the hospital and then the mother goes there and yeah i haven't read much more than that i think i'm like 40 pages in this is one of those I picked up from the library before it closed. <laughs> so now I'm in no rush to read it because I don't have to give it back for a while. <laughs> oh, yeah. Weird days, weird days, weird times. And then I recently did a video with uh, my five star book predictions and two of the books I had in, on that small TBR were a bit like funny books. So I think I'm gonna put those for my attentive weekend TBR because I think I need something fun in my life. One of them is Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day by Winifred Watson. It's about this middle-aged governess who is uh, <laughs> who ends up being in the employment of, uh, of an actress or a singer and that's not something she's used to because she's used to working in respectable houses and for respectable families. So this follows her on a day. Uh, it says that it's gonna be funny, and it's 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 also uh, it's made into a movie with Amy Adams. So I'm looking forward to reading this and then watching the movie. And then the last one is My Sister the Serial Killer by Oinka and Brett Waite. And this one is about two sisters, one of them who one of them ends up killing all her boyfriends and the sister is cleaning up after her. So <laughs> It's also said to be funny. So these are the books I'm hoping to pick up if I feel like it. Otherwise, I think I'll need to go to my Kindle app and just read some smutty romance. Also, I've been seeing a lot of uh, videos lately on booktube uh, with smutty romance, romance channels. I think they're becoming more and more popular and I'm really happy for that. I really love romances in all the books I read, especially because I read a lot of fantasy. I always like when there's a romance plot line in it, so maybe I should just go for these uh, romances this weekend, but I'm rambling on now. So I guess this is it for my little update and currently reading situation, but this is where I leave you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.